Hey guys, it's Toby from TBXIX here. Um, today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to make a simple 3D shape, just like this one. So first of all, obviously, open your new workspace, any size you want. I'm just going to go with A3 to make it simpler. Um, I'm also going to rotate it just to make it look a little bit nicer. And what I'm going to do, just so it stands out a little bit more, I'm going to fill the background with this kind of colour and I'm going to use this red for the boxes just like these ones. So first of all, uh, the first thing I do, uh, I put my rulers on obviously and then snap my guideline to the middle so it's here. So it's snapped in now. Now on a new layer what you want to do is just drag a square using the square tool holding shift so you get a nice square box without any distortion for a rectangle. Doesn't need to go anywhere near the middle guideline because you're going to do that now. Now what you're going to do is using the mouse, uh, the drag tool, what you're going to do is just drag it so it snaps on to that middle point. And then using command or control T, whichever you're on Mac or Windows, you're going to press that and you'll get your transform options. Now holding the same button com command or control, you see that your mouse will change when it comes near these points. It'll change from that to that. What you're going to do is just drag it up wherever you want. You can have the box on any angle you want. I'm just going to go for the simple angle here. Now hit enter and that'll all save. So now obviously you've got one side of the box. What you're going to do is copy this layer over. So now there's two layers there. If you move them you can see there's two. What you're going to do, open your transform tools again and you'll get these set of options up here. What you're going to do on your width, just add a minus sign to that 100 and obviously it'll flip it around. So apply, holding shift, drag it over just so it snaps on there. And as you can see your box is starting to form. Now you're going to drag another square, holding shift again, doesn't matter how big because you're going to change all that in a minute. Open your command tools again and then make it so you've got the rotate tool there. Hold shift so you get a nice even rotation and put it on a 45 or a 45 degree angle, whichever way you want to do it. Hit enter, make it so you can move it. And what you want to do, you want the middle of the box to be online with obviously your middle ruler. Open your control tools again. Using these box ones, what you want to do is hold alt here. And you're going to move it, and as you can see, it will distort it, but move both sides so that you can move it wherever you want. And what you want to do is snap it onto the edges of that box. So you can see now, it's nice, like house shape kind of thing. And with this one, you're going to do the same, and you want it on that point, but obviously you can't see it there. So what you're going to do is just move it so it's higher, so that you can see where you're aiming for it. And then, again, just put it on that corner. Hit enter, everything's saved. For me now you've got a nice box, if you get any of these marks around here, like these little lines, all you need to do is just with your top one, maybe move it down one or two pixels just using your arrow keys, and you see now it's gone. Well, it's still there when you zoom out, but that shouldn't affect it too much. Now as you can see, you can kind of see the shape of the cube, but it's not done very well. So what you want to do, this is all personal preference on what kind of lighting you want or anything like that, but you've got your rectangle one which is this side here. I normally leave this side alone just because of the lighting that I like on it. So I'll get my rectangle one copy, double click to open up the layer style menu, and what I'm going to do, colour overlay, I you can see it changes it to dark, but I'm going to open up the colour picker and I'm going to use the eyedrop tool to get the same colour and then I'm going to pick a colour that's just a little bit darker maybe a little bit darker than that there we go so now you can see you've kind of got this shadowing going on I'm just going to move this ruler out of the way so you can all see better as you see it does look a bit darker over here but it's not it's just because of how light it is around here now with your top layer with this one what you want to do colour overlay again and you want to use your eyedropper tool again, but this time you want to make this one a little bit lighter. So something like that. 
and that's it. Basic 3D shape, done, quick, easy, and you can use this in lots of different things. So enjoy and hope you stay tuned for some more videos.